Today it is the solstice, the winter solstice where I live and I love this day to take the time to reflect on the last six months but actually today I wanted to reflect on the last year because oh my god <laughs> this year has been chaotic to be honest and I needed to remember the best parts of it and also all the lessons that I learned through the most difficult moments <sighs> wow where to begin so one year ago I decided to leave the island because I was so desperate for change I wanted to go into the unknown and it was complete darkness and it was so stressing actually and I felt a lot anxiety during the last year because I had absolutely no vision on my future you know I had no plan <laughs> really um, except for the yoga teacher training that I did in Paris and it was life-changing like always wow but after that it was <laughs> kind of a disaster <laughs> and everything that I wanted to do didn't work out at all because I forced so many things and now I know that this is not how I can manifest in my life. I believe that we are all different, obviously, and we have all different ways to manifest things into our lives, to create the life that we want. And for me, I have to keep everything simple and natural. Of course, it is important that I play a part, but I also have to remember that nature is here to help me, to support me. And I don't have to do everything on my own. Also, I have to be patient and detach from my dreams. And this is how magic happens. This is what I noticed into my life. And these last months, I really, really, really worked too hard and I was too hard on myself and I just put so much pressure on myself and also I nurtured old dreams and also new dreams but in old ways and there's a sentence that I love that says you can't open new doors with old ways or something like that I don't really remember so yeah it was really strange because it was like I went back to this old paradigm and so many old insecurities came back to the surface and I felt like a teenager again like not confident at all about myself and um, yes it was a really strange year but so interesting I learned a lot about myself 
and I learned a lot from other people and the best parts of this year was the moments that I spent with my loved ones and this is what I want to remember this is what I want to remember when I die I want to see the beautiful faces of every single human that I loved during this lifetime because they kept me warm they inspired me they were my teachers they nurtured me and I am so grateful for them this year was rich of beautiful connections new ones and old ones and this year was also rich of goodbyes but it is part of life I said goodbye to old parts of myself I said goodbye to old versions of myself because they didn't need to be with me anymore I was them before I learned from them I watched them grow but I really needed to let them go I also said goodbye to old dreams childhood dreams because they were heavy to carry and because I grew up <laughs> and now I have new dreams that I want to nurture and I can't nurture a thousand dreams at the same time I also said goodbye to polyamory because it was a lot of energy and I needed to simplify my life so I had to say goodbye to some relationships to say goodbye to some people it was hard but it was beautiful I like to honor the relationship, every phase of it and I am so happy that I made the end just as beautiful as the beginning I found that death is just as much important that birth death should be celebrated and should be celebrated because when there's an end there's a new beginning I remember when I was in Goa in 2019 for my first yoga teacher training we had meditation class every single evening and actually it was my favorite class and sometimes we had a practice that is called yoga nidra 
which means the yoga of sleep. And at the beginning of the practice, you have to emit um, sankalpa, which is like a positive affirmation intention for yourself. And it has to be the same until it becomes true. And mine was pretty simple. I am wise. This is all I needed. More wisdom into my life. And you can gain wisdom not just by learning things but also by experiencing them mostly by experiencing them and the best part is that you're never done learning you're never done learning about yourself and this is the path that I want to follow keep learning about myself every single day and all the ways are possible I don't want to restrict myself so every day I ask to myself how can I grow on every level how can I grow spiritually how can I grow Physically, mentally, emotionally, energetically, how can I grow up? As? How can I learn and how can I integrate things that I learn? Because it is one thing to learn something, but if you don't use it in your everyday life, this is completely useless because your brain is going to forget about it. I know how precious this life is I know how precious time is and I know how precious my energy is this is why I'm really focusing on protecting it this year I want to feel peace every single day so before doing anything before taking any decision I consult myself and ask is it healthy for you? is it going to bring you more peace? or is it going to bring you stress, anxiety worries what is the best thing that you can do for yourself at this time for this season and I realized that this year I really needed to slow everything down be more present with myself with others be more grounded use what I already have be grateful for everything that I have right now in this moment and enjoy what is around be here and now and remember every single morning that I am exactly where I need to be I am human and I am divine.